In visiting Herman, Missouri, of course, there are so many things to experience, to see, to take part in, but this is one you need to put on your must-do list, and it is the Herman Farm. And I've got Gary Siemens with me, and he is, you're the farm manager here, right? That is correct, yes. Gary, first of all, thank you much for very much for having us by. We're glad and, to have you. And we can't ignore the horses in the room, so to speak. No. Nope. Because this is also part of your duty here. Yes. I am also the Shire trainer, and uh, the Shire draft horses, the black Shires that we have here, are a big part of Herman Farm. They have been for many years, and you can come see them, not only see them, but you can take a ride behind them. Uh, they'll give you a carriage ride around the farm. Uh, we participate in parades as well and things like that. The uh, horses, uh, uh, are an not an endangered species, but they are a protected species. Right. There are not nearly as many Shire horses as there are Clydesdales, Belgians, and Percherons, the mm -hmm. other breeds of draft horses. So they are a very special horse, and there, there are uh, just not that many of them. So here's where you can see them. And one of the great things is, I mean, you're just giving just a little taste, but there is so much history when you come to Herman Farm. So I have to ask, the chicken or the egg, was the farm here first or was the town here first? Oh, the town was definitely here first. Okay, all right. And there's great stuff to do in Herman, but we're right on the edge of Herman, mm -hmm. not far, and you can come here, do tram tours, you can do carriage rides, you can come do tastings at our distillery. Uh, we have wine tastings as well, historic buildings, and the history is, we've talked about it a little today, but it's just tremendous, the amount of history of the Germans that came to settle this part of Herman. Yeah, because I mean, from from what I'm remembering, we talked a little about, they had to change their whole idea of what they came here for. Is that is that kind of the way it worked? That is correct. Uh, the original settlers here thought they were gonna be doing a lot of farming. Yeah. They came here and found out that the hills on the south side of Missouri were quite hilly and there was no flat land. So they uh, went to uh, looking to see what they could grow here and found out that there were wild grapes growing and uh, George Hoosman was instrumental in breeding grapes, taking those wild grapes, crossing them with other grapes, and getting uh, wine yeah. uh, to be established here in Herman, and it's become a legend since then. And one other, one, it's not legend, it, it's really fact. If not for the grapes here, the roots, you know, that sort of thing, the French wouldn't have what they have right now when it comes to some fine wines. That is true. George Hoosman is credited with saving the French wine industry. I believe he sent over a million cuttings uh -huh. to France because the wines that were grown here in Missouri were much hardier and did not have the, the fungus that caused the problem in France. See, that is amazing. And then, you know, those are just a couple of the things that you can learn here. And as you said, there are so many different ways to see this. And one thing that also shouldn't be missed is the garden. When you first come in, there's a beautiful garden there. Yes, very, very beautiful four square garden, mm -hmm. a traditional German garden that has a variety of vegetables, fruit trees, uh, everything the early original settlers would need to live and survive through the winter. Yeah, and it's right, and you have wonderful volunteers working on it. Make sure, making sure that this tradition and this kind of knowledge is also handed down. Exactly, and it's, it's there for the public to see. You can come to our visitor center. Uh, from there, you can see uh, that and the first settlement buildings, and you can also book a tour to take a tram tour, do the Clydesdale experience, or excuse me, the Shire experience. Yeah, you <laughs> gave you a dirty look when you said that. He you did, know. sorry yes. about that, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, I mean, all about it, this is kind of a living history, and an oral history place, as well as just the land itself, the people who have worked it, all part of all the things that you can find in Herman. It's a beautiful place. Even if it weren't an historic place, it's just beautiful to come here and see the greenery and the, the crop. If people want to know all that you have to offer here, how do they get that information? They can get that by going to our webpage, which is hermanfarm.org. Okay, you can't forget it. You're coming to Herman, come to Herman Farm. No kidding.
Herman is such a cool little town and it has so much to offer. Okay? I never realized before until we, I started seeing so much of it on our show yeah. and it's so beautiful there yeah. too. And it's super easy to find more information. So all you have to do is go to visit Herman with two N's mm -hmm. dot com. There's so much to enjoy like their fabulous wineries, the trolley and the art scene, plus plenty of your delicious food options. And if you're in the wedding planning stage, look at Herman for your wedding needs. That's right. So, so much to offer. Yeah, so go explore Herman because there's so much to do. Yes, so, And is. it's just like two hours away from Springfield. So, so much right? and so close. Yep. yep. All, All right. right, coming up, it's back out to Tom at the History Museum. We'll be right back.